MLBbro.com is live at the ballpark on tape. Listen up. It's the MLB OG Mark Gray live at the ballpark on tape. I caught up with Lawrence Butler of the Oakland A's who's biding his time waiting for his chance to make a significant impact in the show. Uh, congratulations on making it to the show. Talk about what it's like being in the show. Uh, you know, the show is everything you can imagine it to be. You know, playing in these beautiful ballparks in front of thousands of fans. You know, staying at these nice hotels. You know, great teammates around you. You know, Hall of Fame teammates around you. So, it's amazing. Talk to me about your walk, your journey to the show. Um, you, you may mention how you appreciate the amenities that go on with me up top, but talk about what the climb. Yeah, you know, in, in, in the uh, minor leagues, you know, it's a grind. You know, you playing in the middle of nowhere, it's not a lot of fans. It's complete opposite of you know, the show, you know, but it, you know, it separates the men from the boys, you know, it really lets you know if you really want to do this for the rest of your life or not, you know, so the minor leagues is a grind, but it's also just getting you ready, you know, getting you experience for, you know, the show, so. Talk to me for a second about um, how this team compartmentalizes. There's a lot going on with being a Bay Area baseball player these days, you guys, all the noise. How do you tune out the noise? Well, you know, it's not that hard, actually, because, you know, I mean, it's just all outside noise. You know, us in the clubhouse, you know, we just go out here and try to win games, and, you know, that's all we can control. So, you know, people can say what they want to say, you know, we just let all the noise be the noise, and we just control what we can. What have you learned since coming up? How has that, people talk about the biggest jump. I heard an announcer say today the biggest jump that you'll ever make in the sports is from AAA to the show. Yeah, you know, the show, you're playing against, you know, some of the greatest athletes in the world, you know, especially in this game. So, you know, you kind of just got to take that, you know, take that as, you know, just like, I'm not going to go out here and, you know, get a hit every time. You know, I'm, I am facing the best of the best. So, you know, you just kind of got to try to deal with failure, you know. And when you're high, keep your highs, your highs, your lows, your lows, just try to stay in between. As a young African-American player, who were your role models coming out? i say Andrew Jones and Barry Bond no, and LeBron James. Really, really. Talk about how they kind of co-mingle. No, LeBron's just LeBron. You know, you really can't go wrong with LeBron. I've never seen him do anything wrong. So, you know, I love LeBron. He's the greatest basketball player ever played, in my opinion. And, you know, Andrew Jones is just a huge impact, you know, being from Atlanta, you know, playing outfield, you know, just going out there, being able to, you know, track down balls, hit homers, steal bases, so try to emulate my game after him. You, Michael Harris, what's up with the ATL thing? I did a 10-year stay down there, and I was there through Glavin Maddox and Smokes, but to watch the young generation from afar come up, was, was that a big part of your influence? Oh, yeah, you know, me and Mike are boys, you know, we've been boys since, we're, since we could remember, you know, so, you know, seeing him do his thing in Atlanta, you know, it just inspired me to a little bit more, you know, make it to the big league so one day we can share the field together. I want to thank Lawrence Butler for taking the time to join us here live at the ballpark on tape from Camden Yards in Baltimore. I'm Mark Gray for MLBBro.com. MLBBro.com is live at the ballpark on tape. Listen up. For more right now, go to MLBBro.com.